we begin tonight with a developing story out of Cumberland County, New Jersey. A three alarm fire ripped through a church in Millville, sending people inside running to the exits. Good evening, I'm Mari Fleming in for Joy Sevens. Everyone got out of that church okay, thankfully. The fire started this afternoon on East Broad Street. Fox 29's Dave Kinchin live there tonight with the very latest on what's going on, Dave. Yeah, Mari, this is a massive fire, and it's still an active scene at this hour. Take a look behind me. You'll see fire investigators and the Millville Fire Company on the scene trying to find a cause here. This fire has devastated this community and a congregation so close to Christmas. Fire crews went after hot spots after a massive fire ransacked this church in his presence worship center ministries in Millville. The three alarm blaze happened around noon Saturday, calling out several neighboring fire departments and providing a mixture of headache and heartache for Pastor David Wilson Ennis and his congregation so close to Christmas. There was a lot of crying, a lot of emotions. I've shed my tears, of course. It was just crazy. It was crazy. Deacon E.J. Scherer was inside cooking a meal for the homeless when everything went black. The lights went off. Immediately I heard a loud bang. My first instincts was, was everybody okay? Um, the choir came from out the sanctuary. About 25 people ran out of the sanctuary, including choir members and volunteers, gearing up for a Christmas service. Of course, my heart was jumping and I was panicking, but yeah, I was trying to remain calm at the same time. We have gifts in there now for kids. I don't even know if we're able to go in there and get the gifts right now. Now fire investigators look for a cause while church members try to figure out their next steps. Pastor Ennis says Sunday service will somehow go on and he's staying in faith. That's still in my heart and I thank God that that's not destroyed. And come tomorrow we're going to preach the gospel. Fire investigators are checking into whether a piece of flashing might have actually blown into one of the power lines starting the fire, but there is no official cause at this point. We do know power was shut down to the Center City neighborhood where we are as crews tried to do their work here. In the meantime, the congregation says that they will have service tomorrow at a place called the Cornbread House, a banquet hall in Bridgeton. So there's some good news there. They will continue to have service. Also, more good news, no one was injured in this fire. We're live in Millville tonight. Dave Kinchin, Fox 29 News. Like you said, Dave, thankfully everybody got out okay.